Hello stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at Stampabump.com coming to you from a sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be sharing a little storage solution for you. And if you like to recycle, this is right up your alley. There may be some cookies involved and I'm not responsible for that and nobody's judging you. Eat the cookies. Let's flip the camera around and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Today it's all about the Oreos. And double stuffed Oreos are better than regular Oreos. Not for what we're going to do. I don't think it matters, but just for you in general. <laughs> I love the double stuffed Oreos. So one of my customers shared this with me and I needed to go out and buy a container of Oreos to be able to share the idea with you. I was really heartbroken about that. No, I wasn't at all. Um, we've eaten almost all of them. I took my Oreos out. This is what's left. So... With the Oreos, you get this nice little container in here. And if you like to recycle, my friend Barb is a big recycler. I think she'll like this idea. If you like to recycle, this is going to be perfect. So we have these little ink spots, okay? They're shown on page 147 right here. You get eight ink spots for $24. So eight different nice, bold, bright colors. If you travel, these are wonderful for travel or... If you don't have a lot of storage space and you're new to stamping, you don't have a lot of ink colors, these are perfect for you. So these little ink spots are just a one by one uh, ink pad area and I just take my scissors and I slit one side, okay? Now you can remove this by slitting the other side, but I kind of like the lids to stay on there. Maybe not. I was going to say I have... I have these both ways, so I'll slit this one all the way. There we go. Now, when you have um, a stamp, you take your stamp and you ink it up like this versus taking your stamp like this because you can't really see what's going on and your ink pad is really small. There's some cool techniques you can do with these too, and maybe I'll be sharing those next week. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what I can come up with. Here are your little ink spots. And we have Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, Shaded Spruce, Basic Gray, Gorgeous Gray, Flirty Flamingo, Real Red, and Coastal Cabana. Beautiful set of nice bright colors with a neutral. So that's a good way to start out. This is what I'm going to be doing with my Stampin' Spots. And I've cleared a spot in my drawer. If you watched my video last week, you got to see what a complete disaster my studio was. Well, it's all cleaned up and looking beautiful, and I am feeling like I can conquer whatever comes my way today because I have a clean space and a clear head. This was part of my cleaning. So I cleaned out a drawer that I can put this little case in. I think that I've got some more ink spots from your paper pumpkin kits. They come in there too. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go buy another pack of Oreos so I can have two of these cases because these are gonna be good for storing all kinds of stuff. We're gonna um, flip the camera so I can show you what I'm gonna do with this and where I'm gonna store it. Be a little shaky, but I'm gonna take this right over here to my drawer and you can see I've cleared some space in here. And I think I'll be able to easily, whoops, sorry, fit two of them in here. Or mm, I could get another some type. I watch for some more packaging in our food products and put something else right there. Two of them aren't going to fit in my Ikea drawer side by side. But I know that I can get a couple in this way. So what would you think? Pretty cool idea, right? I could see storing a whole bunch of things in here. Let's see. Here's my take your pick tool. I can put a bone folder in here. If you're traveling, if you're going someplace, one of these little inserts might be good to take along so you can set it out on your table and keep everything nice and neat. I'm working on nice and neat now. I don't know how long this studio cleanup is gonna last, probably about an hour. <laughs> Let's be real, we're keeping it real. But I'm certainly happy that I got it cleaned up. Go get yourself some double stuff Oreos. Eat the cookies with a good glass of milk and you'll have some storage containers. Please make sure that you click down here. You don't want to miss anything I have coming up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube. Ring that bell for me. That always helps me out. 
You can head right over to my blog if you'd like to order anything from Stampin' Up. If you don't have a Stampin' Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I'd be happy to send you catalogs. Pop me an e email right here, kelly at a stamp above .com, and request the catalogs. And also, don't forget to put your address in there. Head on over to my blog right here. You guys, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have a great hump day. Bye-bye.